This morning I am trying a slightly different way to bake the bread. I just wanted something a little bit easier, so I am experimenting a little bit. And instead of doing the hour of um, stretch and fold every 10 minutes, if you don't know, I have a sourdough tutorial on my channel I filmed a couple weeks ago. Um, but I'm trying a slightly different method that is a little quicker at night because I find, especially in this heat and in the summer, I get busy and I just want something a little more convenient because I'm kind of lazy sometimes. <laughs> but I'm out here looking at the chamomile. It's time to pick some heads. Look at all these lovely chamomile heads. The flowers will like come out more as the day goes on, but the chamomile is growing wonderfully. The garden is doing beautifully. I am actually currently editing a garden tour because I'm going to try and do a weekly garden tour because it's just growing so much. Like look at this zucchini grew a good three inches in one day. Crazy. I've got my little garden helper helping me weed. We do have a little, a few sneaky weeds. And my spinach has been bolting, but every time I see the bolt coming, I'm just like pinching it off. It's not really a guaranteed way to keep your spinach from tasting bitter, but we're gonna try it anyway. We're gonna try and... Really? It might be... There's a lot of wild herbs and stuff that grow here, especially in this field. We have an abundant source of like wild weeds, and which is beneficial because I don't, my yard is just like all weeds. <laughs> I feel like it's all weeds. There's more weeds than grass, like, and it's gr they're growing so thickly in my grass that I can't do any, I can't possibly pull every single one of them up. It's impossible. So I don't know. I'm trying to get some of the bigger ones in the front, but I don't really care because I'm more about, you know, one day I would love to do more garden beds and everything, and I'm more interested in food than lawns, so. <laughs> Got my garden helper who tries to sneakily eat grass <laughs> when he's not supposed to because it makes your tummy upset. But you love it. Oh, my little old man. It might be, hey? It does. I thought it looked a little. You have no record. Proud of days. Your body is on me. I can say. I have no parts. I have no lies. But I have you. You have me. Summer breaks, winter storms. I don't mind getting on as we're going in. Let me be. I have you. everybody and welcome to today you guys have seen us do a little bit of gardening it's quite some time later it's later in the afternoon now I'm currently just making an iced coffee with some decaf I've been trying to like incorporate decaf into my life in preparation to be pregnant just in case that I still like the taste of coffee because fun fact I never drank coffee with either of my previous pregnancies. I need to talk louder to talk over that whirring of the AC unit. Um, but I never drank coffee prior to getting pregnant with either of my oldest two children. So this will be the first baby that I have that I was a coffee drinker before conceiving. So I don't know if I'm going to be put off coffee or if I'm going to really want to drink it because, which I still plan to drink like my cup of coffee if that is what I want in the morning. But sometimes I just like an iced coffee on a hot day or sometimes I'd like a second cup of coffee. So I would like to have a good decaf backup in that event. 
I'm going to use my adorable little friend's Lego cup. It comes with like a clear travel lid, but look how cute. It's the Lego version of Friends because Cody brought home the Lego Friends set. It arrived yesterday and he had bought it, I think like a month ago or something, and he just surprised me with it. It was like, I bought this for date night, <laughs> which is funny because we had gone to the mall and he had, we walked past the Lego store and he was like, oh, they have friend sets now. And he was like trying to gauge my reaction. <laughs> Looking back now, I understand why he was talking about friends Lego. Anyway, we're going to do that for date night this week. Maybe a couple of date nights. I don't know how long it will take us to do, but I mean, and it came with this cute little travel mug, like this tin mug. So I'm going to use that because it's freaking hot out. Dog interruption. Um, whoever is trapped in this crazy heat wave, I feel for you guys. It is so brutally hot. There is this little town in British Columbia, Canada that has surpassed like, I think it's like all of Canada's heat records in recorded history. They are hitting like, what was it, 47? I think they maybe have hit 50 degrees Celsius, which is just insanity. Like. There are people with siding melting off their houses, not where I live, but in other places. It's insane. So we're just trying our best to stay cool, but I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty bored. <laughs> I redid my cleaning rhythm. You guys know if you've been here a while, I follow a cleaning rhythm and this is what I use. So I felt like this wasn't working for me right now. And so I just redid it and I have to put it in a laminated paper. But I just feel like I'm stuck with cleaning so much on Mondays and it's too much in one day. So I changed that up because that's really riveting and exciting for you guys to know. Um, but then like I made a summer rhythm for us too. Sorry, I'm watching my dog cause she's watching the kids outside have a water gun fight with friends and she's jealous that she can't be there. You can't go out. You cannot go join them. You don't like the water. You don't like water coming out of hoses and water guns. That's not for you. So anyway, we're just trying to cool off with things like water gun fights and the swimming pool and the sprinkler, but at the same time, I'm trying not to run my sprinkler too much because I don't want to burn my grass. <laughs> um, so we've been gardening really early in the mornings. Ooh, I should show you. This is what we harvested. Again, I'm just waiting it for to dry. It looks a little bit sad and wilty right now, but it's gonna perk right up in the fridge. So I just wash everything. I soak all of my garden veggies and herbs in salt water because it just like kills all the bugs and makes everything come off. Anything that might be hiding in it um, works like a charm, highly recommend. And then I dry them all out and then they go in the fridge. So we got a bunch of spinach and this stuff stays so crispy and amazing in the fridge for like oh, over a week. I got a couple little chamomile buds. This is some marjoram, um, a little bit of basil and some kale. This is my first kale harvest. Not huge yet, but I wanted to get some of it off to just give room to put work into the rest of the plant. And then I made sourdough this morning, as you saw. So there's the sourdough loaf of the day. I like to keep it in this pot because if you like your sourdough crunchy, definitely don't do that. But um, my kids don't like when the crust is too hard to bite through. So I keep it in the Dutch oven. Um, and that's just where I store it because it makes the crust really soft. Yeah, but anyway, I'm just kind of like, I'm in that weird zone. We're in, we're halfway through the first week of me no longer working and like quitting my job. So I'm really, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm like wandering around. So I made a rhythm for us for summer so we could have some structure so that it's not such a shock to the systems when we go back to school in the fall and we start homeschooling again. Um, so I've created a little bit of a rhythm and we'll see how that works or if I have to redo it later. I'm not sure. But I've been just trying to get my bearings on being home and what to do. But at the same time with the heat, I'm just like today I'm just so unmotivated. I have a vlog I'm supposed to be editing, hence making a coffee even though it's decaf. I just need something. And it's I'm also like it's a rest day for me workout wise. I'm like twiddling my thumbs being like, what do I want to do? Cause I don't want to sit in front of the TV or anything. So I have to go upstairs and freaking dry foods edit 
because I love editing once I get started, but sometimes it takes me a lot of motivation to like sit down at the computer and begin. Carly, it's okay. You don't need to do that. Let them play. So anyway, I just wanted to pop in and say hello to you guys. Tomorrow, our restrictions are all officially lifted, which is nice. So as of tomorrow, we are back to normal, which I'm really excited about. Um, going to visit a friend tonight. So I'm gonna, I'm trying to prepare for like not being here this evening. Cody is working a longer day today because it is month end and in the sales industry month, why did I say that weird industry? Um, month end is a crazy busy very long day so <laughs> that's where he is right now and he doesn't get off for a couple more hours i think we're gonna go out for ice cream though because it is hot i think it's like 39 feels like 39 today or 37 something like ridiculous and it doesn't let up until like mid-june which is just so weird i like a good 25 degrees just a nice warm summer breeze but i don't sweat from everything like ugh, i'm just not a fan of this crazy hot and if you live where it's always this hot i don't know how you do it but maybe it's just because i can't do minus 40 in the winter and then plus 40 in the summer it's just too much it's too much of a shock to the system i don't like it i don't want to do it <laughs> so i hope anybody who is in this heat wave genuinely though i really hope that you are guy that you're you guys are doing okay and that you're staying cool and safe it can be incredibly dangerous. Remember to keep your kids cool and yourself cool. Remember to stay hydrated. Remember to watch out for your pets. Please don't walk your dogs in the crazy heat. If you wouldn't walk on the sidewalk with your bare feet, please don't. I feel like that's in my mind right now because I saw somebody walking their dog today and I was like, no, what are you doing? So like not just on the inside. I should have maybe said it on the outside, but I'm not that brave. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to make a nice coffee and get some editing done, but I just wanted to chat with you guys for a minute so you can see. I'm just like not feeling anything. I don't want makeup on my face. I don't want anything touching me. I'm pretty sure I burnt my scalp and that sucks because it's just not happy right now and it's annoying and it's embarrassing because I've got like, I'm always embarrassed when I'm editing and like my scalp is having a flare up or something and I just like, there's little flakes or something. I'm like, Ugh. but it's fine. I need to like normalize this and get over it because it happens <laughs> anyway i'm rambling now i'm gonna go make a coffee and crack on with this edit hey everyone it is an entirely different day <laughs> i'm sorry i stopped filming after this and my footage got confusing and now it's a new month so i'm going to serve fresh and there was a few things i wanted to talk to you guys about before i end this vlog i'm very sorry it's like ending in a weird way <laughs> I'm a hot mess express. I feel like I'm in full vacation mode now. Um, I just feel like the relaxation is finally hitting me of being off and I'm really happy about that. I'm like just vegging, hanging out with my kids, playing some video games. <laughs> it's a good time. I don't know how much of a hot mess I look because I can't see the camera. I assume pretty hot mess. It's the heat. I just got interrupted, so uh, that sentence got cut off. The heat dome has finally broken. We got a huge storm last night. <sighs> we weren't supposed to get hit with hail, and then at the last minute, the storm moved, and we got hit with hail, and I was left with the excruciating decision to either cover my garden and have the flash flood put too much pressure on all of it and crush everything, because we, we got, like, the streets were flooding it was crazy um or leave the garden uncovered and hope for the best and hope that it doesn't get smashed to pieces in the potential hail so i went with option two and it got a pretty good beating i think everything is recoverable uh cody and i are going to come up with some sort of tent storm system to make sort of like a, a tent so all the hail, if it hails again, we can really quickly throw this up and um, keep the hail off of the garden. So a lot of things got crushed. There's gonna be a really big difference between last week's garden tour and the next week's because you guys are gonna see the damage. It's pretty extensive, but it's not as bad as it could be. So a little bit sad about that. But anyway, it's cooled down. And that's been really nice. I was going to say I look like a super hot mess because I was just like crying because of the movie. I, 
watch the movie and it made me cry because I'm that kind of person, so. As a newish contact wearer, I'm always paranoid that my contacts are gonna fall out when I cry. Does that happen? I don't know. <laughs> I should Google that. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that. I also wanted to let you know that there will be another reversal update coming. I feel like I haven't really talked too much baby stuff or anything happening. Um, so I wanted to answer a couple of your questions and update you guys on a couple of things because it is so soon. I cannot even. So this is definitely your last chance to get any questions you might have um, for me to answer about our vasectomy reversal process or anything that you have surrounding that procedure or like this adventure. Um, please put them in the comments below and I will answer them in that video. Um, so kind of like last call for questions. I've gotten some really good ones, a lot of repeating ones. So I'm going to be answering those and updating you and letting you guys know a ballpark of when it is happening. Just because I'm not super comfortable sharing the exact date, but after it's done, then I'll share everything with you guys. But yeah, I'm, I'm just in a little bit of a, a reset. You're watching me just reset my life right now. I'm just chilling trying to relax slash get into a new routine. It's been weird, but also wonderful. I really want to make some plans to do more videos that you guys want to see. If there are any videos, regardless of what they are about baby stuff, it doesn't have to be about all that kind of stuff. Um, just let me know because I would really like to put more effort into my YouTube channel right now because honestly, my views have kind of taken a pretty big nosedive which is understandable i haven't really been putting a whole lot of effort into my youtube channel so i just want to like get that ball rolling again so if there's anything you really want to see me do then please suggest it below and i will add it to my list um but i just want to say thank you for watching this video as always i really appreciate every one of you who tuned into these and watch me just go about my day and talk about my garden and <laughs> talk about all this stuff so um, I want to go on a few hikes. I've gotten myself a little present to hopefully amp up my channel a little bit. I'm excited to show you. I'll show you when that comes in. Um, it'll take me a while to get used to it, but I'm excited to play around with it. The next will be a baby update, maybe combined with a little vlog. I don't know. And that'll be it. So I'll stop rambling at you now. Um, I'll remember to tell you more later, but this is why I do vlogs because I always forget to tell you things and then I remember later. So thank you guys for watching. If you stuck around this far, I really appreciate it. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Yep, it's the weekend. <laughs> and I hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and happy. Until next time, we'll see you when we see you. Bye. Holidays, your lot is on me. I can say, I have no thoughts, I have no lies, but I have you, and you have me.